A couple of years ago, I took an American couple that came to visit us to an art gallery in our area. It's an artist whose work I really admire. Um, it's done three-dimensionally in a very unique way. And then he's got these strategic light bulbs that, um, that just lightens up alleyways and doorways. And it is supposed to recreate the ancient old city of Jerusalem. And he does so brilliantly. And while we were at the art gallery, I realized that the artist was present and I could not help myself, but I had to introduce myself to him. And after our introductions and small talk, um, you know, the couple and I went down to the beach. It was beautiful, but all the way as we walked, I just kept on talking about, I've met the artist, I've met the artist. I had a real fangirl moment, as they say. At the beach, we decided it was so beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. This huge beach, white sand and lots of shells, and we decided to collect some. And then after a while, you know, as we were all having pockets full of shells, Terry came to me and he showed me one really magnificent shell. And while the two of us were admiring the shell, he said, Surya, I know the artist. Oh, I really so needed that. That's when I realized he knows the artist that created the artist that I just met. And that reminds me of a piece out of J.I. Packer's Knowing God. What were we made for? To know God. What aim should we set ourselves in life? To know God. What is the eternal life that Jesus gives? Knowledge of God. This is eternal life, that they may know you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. What is the best thing in life, bringing more joy, delight, and contentment than anyone else? Knowing God. Thus says the Lord, let not a wise man boast of his wisdom, and let not the mighty man boast of his might. Let not the rich man boast of his riches, but let him who boasts, boasts of this, that he understands and knows me. When Terry said that he knows the artist, he meant that he had a personal relationship with God. But even more profound is that God knows Terry. And I realize if I ever meet my artist again, the one that recreates the beautiful walls of the old Jerusalem, he won't even remember me. He won't even know that I exist. I hope that you also continue to walk with God and that God Remember this, knows your name intimately. He is also your creator.